Hi everybody, this video is going to cover the NEARS Toolbox or Brain Analyzer uh, a module called St Change Stimulus Info as well as Create Stimulus Table. Uh, basically the idea with this Change Stimulus Info is basically taking any info in your stimulus and you're looking to change it individually or piece by piece. Uh, basically the first thing you're going to actually have to do is, well obviously you're going to have to load in your data. Once you have that, and I can actually show you here, I'll load in my data. I have a data set for finger tapping, and I'm going to have it at the group level. So I'll go ahead and load it in. You'll see several uh, data sets load. So I have my data. If I go into raw, I can go into one of my subjects, and I go into my stimulus object. Uh, the stimulus object has keys and values. Let's go to values first, and we have several durations here. Uh, additionally, if I go to keys, I have two options, which are stim channel one, and stem channel 2. So what I have actually on the re remainder of my data is stem channel 15 and I want to add that to my uh, subject 1 here. So the first step I'll actually have to do is create a stimulus table. Uh, so what you can do is actually create a table and you'll do nearest dot uh, create stimulus table and uh, perform it on your raw data. If I hit enter all of a sudden now I have my stimulus table. First you have a subject uh, index, in this case it says file index, but this is my subjects. I happen to have 13 subjects. I have stem channel 1, each with different events. So you have the name, the onset, the duration, the amplitude, and then any metadata. Uh, sub subject 1 you'll see I actually have a stem channel 2, which is not actually what I want. I'm actually going to want to uh, include stem channel 15 as that. So what I will need to do is I've created my table. Now I'll actually have to edit the field that I want in my table. So if I come up here and I'm going to say the table at the location of the, essentially the column name or the variable name, stem channel 15, where the table at that file index is equal to 1. So that's subject 1. You'll notice I have curly brackets because it's a cell. So essentially I'm making a call to the column name of stem channel 15 at the location for row 1. And I'm going to make this equal to a value. In fact, I want to make it equal to uh, the value at uh, stem channel 2. So stem channel 2 at table at the file index of 1. Uh, so I'm going to make that equal to that piece. I'll go ahead and click Run. Now if I open up this table, you'll notice it's filled in stem channel 15, and now I have those events. Uh, if you want to call the duration, you would essentially call it like such. Let's see here. If I come up, I actually have this already loaded, I believe. Here we go. So essentially I can load it like this, and you'll actually get the duration value. So again, you call the name of the variable, the name of the column, followed by the dot index of the, of the row. But in our case, we just want to make that one change, making stem channel 15 equal to stem channel 2. Now what I will have to do is actually create a job for a uh, change table. The change table is in the uh, .nears folder. So let me see here. I will have to create that job. I do j equals nears dot change table. I think it's change stimulus table. It's right here. Change stimulus info, excuse me. So it's change stimulus info. And I'm going to make that an empty job. Oop, I'm in the wrong uh, value. Let's see where I have that lo located. It is under modules, actually. So I'll call it again, but I'll add the modules folder. And there we go. So I've created the job. And within the job, you actually have a thing called change table. What I now have to do is call that, I do change table, and it's going to be equal to my new table that I created with the, with the updated change. Once I do that, I can do, I will have to save this as an output variable, otherwise it won't perform the action. But now I can actually run that job on my raw data. When I go to hit enter, I can open up the raw data, subject one. If I go to my stimulus, I now have a three cell uh, or 1 by 3 cell, which is stem channel 1, stem channel 2, and ch stem channel 15. In this case, if I were to go in, I can go to the values, and they'll be identical between these two. So I can open them up, 
and here we go. I open these up, I've made them equal. I have basically my uh, channel 15 and my channel two, but I actually have the names identical to one another. So in that case, I actually did some overlap and I may actually wanna change the channel name. So let's say I wanna alter it to channel two instead of channel 15. If I go back here, let's see here. So I have three values. Let me see if I actually have the keys here, if those have actually changed correctly. So those changed correctly, but I, I do want to change the uh, stem channel name. So in that case, I'll actually have to call the values. To call the values, you would call them uh, just like we did here. Instead of duration, though, we're going to want to do, let's see, subject one, and it'll be dot name. So there it is, stem channel two. So basically what I'm going to want to do is make that equal to stem, underscore, stem underscore channel 15. And close parentheses or close quotations, and that should do it. And now I will actually have to create the same job, which is actually already created. So I'm just going to do j.change table, and I'm going to set it equal to, again, my table. And now, if I do j.run, I run it, and I do have to set it as an output variable. Let's see, and I'll do it as edit2. That way we can compare. We do j.run, put it on raw variable. And when we run it, we should now see on subject1, if I were to click on the keys, I now have channel 15. That's good. And the last value should now be stem channel 15. So it's been updated. So this, this basically allows you to do a bulk change on individuals. If you did want to set it in a loop, you could set it in a loop basically by changing this file name index to a, a for loop of one through all your subjects. And it should enable you to actually change it fairly rapidly. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and I'll have a few more videos along the way.